I'm going to show you how to create the little hole right here on the pantaloons of the not so big bad wolf pattern. And if you're interested in the pattern, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. So we're on round nine and you're going to actually go ahead and just knit 62 and it's going to leave two stitches on your last needle. So we have two stitches left on our last needle and we're going to knit one and then we're going to go ahead and bind off that stitch. We're going to knit the last stitch and then we're going to bind off that one. So now we have two stitches bound off and we're going to go on to round number 10, which means we're going to bind off the next two stitches here. I find for this that if I just use my right needle and knit these next two stitches, it works a lot easier. Now we're going to knit them one at a time and bind each one of them off. So I'm going to knit that first stitch on this left needle. bind it off and knit the last one and now we have done that we have bound off or binded off not sure which the term is four stitches right here i'm going to go ahead and put this one back on my next needle that i am going to be using to working round 10 with and i'm going to continue and knit 60 stitches you finished round 10 and we're back at our bound off stitches that we did and we're going to go ahead and make four for round 11. And the way that I like to do this is just to wrap my yarn the way I normally do and I'm using my thumb, wrap around my thumb, bring my needle here and pull. So there's one, two, three, and Four. Now you want these stitches not to be too tight, but you also don't want them too loose as well. And at this point, I actually like to knit this one stitch still on my right hand needle. I don't want to get my next needle out yet. I feel like this just keeps everything a little bit neater and nicer. So now we've got these stitches here, but what we want to do is we want to place a stitch marker right in between those make fours because that's going to be the beginning of our new round. So I'm just going to take those stitches, slip them over on here, one and two. So this is right in the center. Then I will just slip them back over. And I am ready to continue with round 11, which is just to knit all the way around. So when you come to the part where you actually need to knit your make four stitches, it can feel a little bit awkward, but all you need to do, I'm here at my make four, you're gonna see this big long line here and that's okay, don't worry about it. Just want to knit just as you would a regular stitch. Slip your marker. So now you've actually created your little hole, which is going to be where you place the little tail for your wolf. You also always want to wait to sew on your tail to your wolf after you've made the hole for the pants because it helps you to know where to place the tail because you want the tail to fit in that hole. So the best way that I know how to do this is I just put the little pants on exactly where they're going to go and I place the tail exactly right there. And I know that that's exactly where I like it and that's where it's going to fit because that's where the hole in the pants is. So now what I like to do is I just get a pin and I place it right here in the middle of that hole. And then I take the pants either completely off or down and I know that that's exactly the center where I need my tail to go. I can actually just put a few little pins here and just take this one in the middle out because I don't want to forget and leave that one inside. 
and then I can go ahead and sew on the tail.